Hey guys, Gruz here. So a little over a year ago now, I posted a video here on this channel about how a very talented guy, Don Barber, was able to remove some heavy copy protection from a couple of Mac games that remained uncracked for over 35 years. This was the Pace anti-piracy system, and it protected a handful of 80s Mac games using very sophisticated DRM. Barber was able to remove the protection from a couple of sought-after titles. Mac Wars, which was a clone of the 1983 Star Wars arcade game, as well as the game Sword of Kadash, which was an early action game with light RPG elements. While the copy protection had been removed, Sword of Kadash still had something going on with it where it would crash when you got a few rooms deep into the game. It made it impossible to make any meaningful progress in the game. Well, today I've got some good news regarding that. It turns out that earlier this year, a Macintosh Garden user, Lanhawk, was able to fix this very rare game, and it is now completely playable. What's interesting about this game is how early it came out. It was intended to be played on the earliest Macs, the 128K through the Mac Plus. It came out in 1986, but was incompatible with Macs using ADB, which started with the Mac SE just a year later in 1987. This meant that it was nearly obsolete just a year after it was released, and it couldn't be played on any of the new Macs from then on. It's probably a mixture between the DRM and the compatibility issues that this game ended up being a very obscure release on the Mac. But I think it's absolutely amazing that we now have a new game for some of the earliest Macs. Ultimately, there wasn't a lot of games that would run on a stock 128K. Most everything from the compact Mac days required at least one megabyte of RAM. So now that it's finally fixed and I've been able to spend some time with it, I can tell you a little bit about it. Sword of Kadash was originally released in 1984 for the Apple II, but in the next couple years saw releases on the C64, Atari ST, and the Mac. This game takes place in the deserts of Persia. You were hijacked and left for dead until a band of brigands found you, and now they're forcing you to enter the Fortress of the Dragon and retrieve them the Sword of Kadash. In this game, you wander around a giant maze with 256 rooms filled with bad guys and booby traps. There are a number of items strewn across the game world map. Stuff like extra health and better weapons. The weapons in this game are always represented on screen by darts. Your shots just get stronger depending on the weapon you pick up. You gotta be careful though, as almost every time you pick something up in this game, it causes something to happen. Enemies will appear or arrows will shoot at you. You've always gotta be on alert every time you pick something up. You probably don't even want to pick everything up because there are cursed items too which when you're cursed, it makes your weapons and armor less effective, and you won't gain any experience. If you get cursed, you have to grab a holy symbol or scroll to remove the curse. Everything feels like a gamble in this game. You'll never really know if the items are good or bad until you pick them up. It's really one of those games that require you to map out all the rooms and all the items as you play. There are so many ways you can go in this game, so many items and dangerous passages, you won't be able to just charge straight through this game. There's too many traps. The game forces you to use trial and error in order to make progress. Unfortunately, the Mac version is missing a couple of features that the other versions have. A difficulty setting, as well as the ability to save your progress and reload it in-game. Essentially a save state. The Mac version won't let you reload your save data. It will let you save, but it forces you to quit the game when you save. It's essentially like a bookmark feature, where you can only have one save file, and it can only be reloaded once, and that is when you boot up the game. I did find that you can launch the game from System 6 and make a copy of the KAD underscore save file to make a backup, and overwrite it to restore it. Kind of a little hack to get more save files. In this game, you've got four lives each game, one initial life, and three reincarnations. When you die, you'll be instantly reincarnated in your current position, only you'll lose all of your weapons and experience. This can be detrimental in later parts of the game, because you'll have to be pretty powerful to beat the end bosses. And since the enemies don't come back, there's only so many ways to get experience. The controls in this game are very interesting. The mouse is used here as a joystick, where the button fires, and you move it around this little box here, and you can set the size of the dead zone in the middle with the number keys. It actually works pretty well using the mouse, though I would imagine a joystick would work better, but I haven't tried that yet. There's also an option to use keyboard controls, which I have not been able to master. The way the keyboard controls work is not what I'm used to. You push the keys in once to start walking in a direction, and then you hold them down to shoot in that direction. I only briefly tried out the keyboard controls, but I couldn't really get the hang of it. 
There's also spells in this game, which you activate with the space bar. These will cause the enemies to move away from you for a few seconds or so. You start out with six spells and can find more laying all around the game. Overall, it's really interesting to see this type of game on the Mac, and it's definitely worth giving it a shot. I would say that this game just barely qualifies as an RPG. In my opinion, it plays much more like an action game. Just be aware that it is exceedingly difficult and very unforgiving, especially this Mac version without difficulty settings or save states. I would recommend this one if you're looking for something to play on either a Mac 128K or 512K. There's not a lot of games for those systems, so it's really cool to have this available. Check it out if it looks interesting. Well, I hope you enjoyed this look at a very early and obscure game for the Mac. If you did, make sure to hit the like button to let me know. Thanks guys, take care.